Most defibrillator machines can be converted to a transcutaneous pacer by turning on the pacer feature. Pacer plads are placed in the same way as a defibrillator, but because the pads cannot both sense and pace at the same time, you have to connect the monitor leads to the machine. Once the pace feature is turned on, there are only two settings you need to control. The rate button sets the heart rate you want, and the output is the amount of energy measured in milliamps required to conduct electricity through the patient's chest wall and heart. The bigger the patient, the more output required. You should generally aim for one milliamps per kilogram. So an average size adult who might weigh 70 kilos will require approximately 70 milliamps, but kids and small adults may require less energy. The constant electrical shocks will depolarize all muscle cells between the two pads and will cause involuntary contraction of the chest wall muscles. This is really uncomfortable for the patient and may even cause them not to be able to tolerate the procedure. Pain medications and sedatives such as fentanyl and midazolam can help decrease the discomfort until the painless transvenous pacer is placed. Now that you are familiar with the tools, let's learn how to perform transcutaneous pacing. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.